Joe Bonnie's direction of these shows presented a searing look at what we now call toxic masculinity, but from the inside out, <laughs> in which one character memorably laments, I feel like a human being trapped in a man's body. Some people are really fabulous and comfortable telling stories in a dressing room full of people, and I am not one of them. So, but I just want to say that um, my passion has always been new play development. And that is why we're honored to be able to recognize him as the legend of Off-Broadway that he is, Mr. Andrew. what it means to be old school. I was raised in a generation that is told, wherever you go, whatever you do, whatever you say, and whatever you believe, you must remember that you are representing the African diaspora, the African or the North American continent, your race. And today, that is part of my receiving this award. Thank you so much. And this season, David Wright's latest play, Good for Otto, produced by the new group, again offered an all-star cast, including Ed Harris, Amy Madigan, F. Murray Abraham, and Rhea Perlman. And uh, I'm still at it. <laughs> <laughs> Every day, one way or another, I'm coming up with things. So hopefully they'll find their way to some off Broadway theater. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm going to talk about um, a man who I really loved it. It was a mentor of me. Um, the theater lawyer, Don Farber. Don Farber. My father loved what he did, and he always told me to love what you do and do what you love. He considered himself the luckiest guy in there. Those who knew him and loved him know what a soft he was. The minute my dad entered the theater, his eyes would begin to start to tear. Um, let me just say right off the bat, I much prefer to be on that side of the spot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason I'm generally standing for hours in the dark. Oh. It's a satire. It's a soap opera. It's a sweaty celebration of perky young talent and a cold-eyed look at an industry that eats its stars for breakfast. <laughs> it's a feel-good romp and a feel-bad psychodrama with detours into the shadow lands of xenophobia, racism, and child labor. <laughs> and it's so much more. <laughs> so that's why only K-pop, the show that broke all the rules and expanded what a musical could be. And by the end of the lunch, I was saying yes to what would become K-pop. So everyone hold on to your wallets. Here's Teddy Bird. <laughs> That is very difficult to follow. Uh, uh, thank you so much for this incredible award and honor, and I'm accepting this event for myself. I'm Teddy Burke. Who doesn't make a false move? He glides seamlessly from one character to another. Man, woman, gay, straight, drunk, sober. Playing an imposter, Kruda proves once again he's the real deal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the recipient of this year's Off Broadway Alliance Award for Best Solo Performance, Billy Kruda. To be in the company of uh, people who I have uh, lionized and idolized uh, um, for scrounging at the, the surface of truth in uh, the back alleys of uh, New York for nothing uh, is more heartening than you can imagine. Uh, Polka Dots follows eight-year-old Lily Polkadot, <laughs> who just moved to the squares only town of Rockville. And here to accept the award is the Atlantic Theater's artistic director of the family program, Allison Beatty. <laughs> Please welcome the author of Transfers, the winner of Off Broadway Alliance Award for Best New Play for 2018, the amazing, the wonderful Lucy Fair. Because of MCC, I got to do this production, which, you know, I think everyone's been saying it, but you're only as good as your team um, in theater. 
it is an equalizing force. And so for, for me to be good as a writer, a, a lot of people have to say yes. Here. Um, we have a cast of the best clowns off Broadway that you could have wished for, including Mary Tessa, Arnie Burton, Talene Monahan. Talene is here. Hello, Talene. Stephen DeRosa, Kelly Hutchinson, Ryan Garbayo, Ben Mel, David Manis, Luis Moreno, Mary Lou Rosato, Stephen Rattazzi, and Billy Humans. Desperate Measures is so brilliant and so funny and so playful and so strange. All right. <laughs> All right, it's set in, the, in 1890 in a lawless territory way out west. Desperate Measures tells the story of Johnny Blood, a hot-tempered young cowboy who finds himself sentenced to hang for killing a man in a bar fight. His sister, a novice nun, is persuaded to plead with a corrupt governor to spare her brother's life. The governor promises to pardon Johnny on one condition. If, if his sister, who's a sister, <laughs> will do his bidding. And by the way, the entire book of this musical is in iambic pentameter. Because I guess just writing a musical is too easy. <laughs> Next, of course, Bill Castellino for his blocking of each scene. Oh yes, the scene reached near... The show reached near perfection from his masterly direction. <laughs> we have the finest cast on earth who fill each show with joy and mirth. To that amazing force of nature, Pat Addis, her love for this play is why I'm standing here today. Yeah. I hope that this award presages a good long run at New World State. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rob. If it wasn't for Jim Morgan's vision, I would not be standing here, but I want everybody in the room to see the show more than once. 